Today we're in Helper, Utah, shooting with the Canon G7X Mark II, and I'm so stoked. I've been wanting to come to this little town that's kind of stuck in like the 1950s, early 1960s. It's going to be a vibe. Stick around. I've got some great shots to show you. So this is downtown Helper, Utah, and it looks like it's stuck in time. You guys are going to see all of the incredible old buildings with the old artwork. This used to be an old mining town. Right over here, you see this huge mountain backdrop. Amazing views, but even cooler things to photograph. So let's get started. Just such a cool place to come down and visit. This is my first time. And like I told you guys, this is a place that I've always wanted to come to. A lot of old vintage signs. Plenty to look at. And it almost seems like every 10 to 15 feet, like there's just something cool here. You got like some old barn doors. You got this door over here that's like behind a cage. You got a Harley Davidson painting, a Coca-Cola painting. Yeah, this town just knows what it's doing. And I wonder if they're doing it on purpose to try and drive people like me out here because it's really, really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna try to focus in on the Harley Davidson. And we're at F4, 125 auto, 640 shutter speed. That's the photo there. Super cool. I, man, I'm just at a loss for words. If you guys have been watching this channel for a while, you guys know that this is like my bread and butter here. And this is the stuff that I love to photograph. So it's just incredible. Not even 20 feet, not even two minutes into the video. And I've already snapped a ton of photos. Right here, I'm gonna take a picture of this ice cream shop. I don't even know what to call it. Now right here, if you can see in the video, probably not, there's a reflection. So I'm gonna take a step to the left. Now I'm aligned with the door frame here and you can't see any reflections of the photographer. And then I'm just gonna try to get this photo centered. We're going vertical. And if we need to center it a little bit more in post, we will. Just so, so cool. I love that. Filling station, ice cream floats, sodas. Let's see if we can get like a detail shot here underneath it. Block out the sun a little bit. About to move here. Look, it's a sign. There's a for rent. Okay. In downtown historic Helper, Utah. Looks like it's a two bedroom, no pricing. If I lived here, I could make the coolest YouTube content forever. Even the bank's got some cool signage. Helper City offices, won't take a photo of that, but we will take a photo of the Coca-Cola sign. Recently, they painted up an old vintage Coca-Cola sign by my house and it bummed me out. So I'm glad that these guys are still holding them and not painting over them. Get vertical with this one. I'm gonna check to see if the photo's centered. It doesn't look like it's centered, so I'm gonna try to step on this curb back here. See if I can just get it a little bit more centered. And then I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and just see if I can get, you know, I'm gonna switch up the angle here, see if we can get a little bit under it. There we go, that looks cooler. Drink Coca-Cola. I really don't know what to expect. This is my first time here. Look at this, you got a truck in between these two buildings. Looks pretty cool, let's photograph it. We'll go horizontal. We'll go vertical. And let's get closer and get some detail shots. There's a shovel in the back of the truck. That could be cool. Change the focus of the shovel. 
I'm gonna use the zoom on the cannon to get a little bit closer. Focus it on the shovel. And let's go around front. And it looks like it's someone's car. Oh, this could be cool. Let's take a photo of the interior. And brighten up the ISO a little bit. So there's a wide shot there. And let's get close up to the steering wheel. Yeah, just, man, there's so much cool stuff around here. Look at this. Shooter's paradise, yo. Yeah, it definitely is somebody's truck. There's a license plate on it. Now we're gonna get low on this photo. I'm gonna center it up. There you go. Old Chevy pickup truck. Super, super cool. Hopefully the owner doesn't come and mess with me. I'm gonna go home with a thousand photos, but I'm not even mad. Just gonna test the focal lengths here. Find one that I like. This looks good. F4, 200 ISO. Just a cool little bench with metallic crates on it. This looks like a old movie theater, or no, it's an arcade. Gateway Lanes. What in the world? This place is just stuck in like the past. So freaking cool. Okay. Gonna take a picture of the sign up top. Gonna get closer. Put the focal length there. It's a lot of character on these older buildings. Just too cool to pass up. Just wanna photograph everything around here. Now we're coming up on old signage. Gonna see if I can hit each sign with its own photo. Crest Hotel. Let me see if I can just get all of these in one. You got some old James Dean and Marilyn Monroe posters. and an old ticket booth. JC Penny. Is it the JC Penny? Doubt it, but it's an old location. I'd love to photograph the front of this building just because of the cool green, but yeah, this car's in the way. Now we got enough space. Here we go. Reggie's Club, VIP Lounge.
love this. Look at this. They got gardens, place to sit. But this is what caught my eye. This little truck. It's a mini truck. We gotta photograph it. There's a bucket underneath. Usually I'd maybe try to remove that, but I'm not sure if it's there on purpose. There's a YouTuber that I follow that gave full instructions on how to get one of these. And I think the cost, like after importing it and having it shipped and after purchase was like around, like I think you could get them as low as like 7,000 up to 16,000. That's really cool. I kinda wanna move that bucket. Yeah, this thing is rad and I think I'm gonna move this bucket. Doesn't seem like it's holding the truck up. Place that there. We'll get a cool photo of the mini truck. That is so rad. And since I moved the bucket out of the way, we have to retake this shot. There it is, Daihatsu Hijet. Got flowers growing out of the windows here. There's just so much to photograph. I might have to come back here another day too. We'll keep it moving. What I love about this downtown is it's honoring the historic heritage of it and then just kind of modernizing or just updating little bits and pieces rather than demolishing the entire block and just putting up new buildings. So it just really lets you soak in the character of the town. And I'm just having a blast if you can't tell. It's just beautiful. Look at the backdrop that this little town has. An old coal mining town. It's been here forever. A lot of history, clearly. Just so, so dope. New house building up there. We'll take a photo of that. I'm gonna try to square up and not get hit by this Toyota that's barreling down. Gorgeous. What do you guys think? Pretty cool place, right? <laughs> Piggly Wiggly all over the world, whatever that means. Piggly Wiggly. It'd be like a really cool Instagram handle. Let's keep going. Carbon Hotel. Ooh, sign. Okay, Carbon Hotel. The Carbon Hotel was built in the early 1900s. It was first owned by C.A. Bartolino. The building was used as a hotel, bar, cafe, and sporting house throughout the years. Due to the large number of single male immigrants into the local mines, the bordello on the upper floor was very popular, though somewhat illegal during helpers' heydays. Due to increasing pressure from the authorities, the doors were closed. You know what that means? Oh my god, that scared me. There's dolls on the freaking floors up there. Look at this. this <laughs> I was just about to say this place is haunted, probably. And then I looked up and I saw these 
dolls up top. So yeah, old building from the 1900s, immigrants staying on the top floor working in the coal mines. Has to be haunted, right? And next to the Carbon Hotel, you've got this train cart, which is super dope. It's so crazy how all of these things are considered vintage and you've got all these signs saying don't touch. But within the last hundred years, this was used for work. People were climbing in and out of it every single day. And I doubt they ever thought that this would just be like a memorative piece, right? So that's what's wild about the world. I've said it in a few other videos. It's like every 100 years we rotate and then, you know, like your car that you're driving one day will just be on a lot and it'll just be a piece of history and they'll say, Mr. So-and-so drove this Toyota Corolla. <laughs> Don't touch it. And people a hundred years from now will be taking a photo with your old ass Corolla thinking it's so cool and we'll be all long gone and dead by then. Check this out though. Steam engines in Helper, Utah. Wow. Dude, so freaking cool. 1920. As early as 1920. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at this building. No way. La Sally Hotel. It's really nice. Let's back up a little bit. We'll take a photo of the exterior. We'll get a wide shot of the entire building. Take one from this angle. Let's go out into the middle of the road. Always look both ways. I think this has to be the coolest building here, don't you think? Now I'll let this car cross and it's time to get some detailed shots. There's so much here, guys. Ladder, bricks, sign, sign, door, sign, stairs, sign, sign. Look, oh my gosh. There's so much to photograph here. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. All right. Shot number one, vertical. Shot number two. Shot number three. Retake that one, just come out a little bit. There we go. Oh, look at the stairs to the basement. That is so freaking cool. Okay, we're gonna have to bump up the ISO here. And just trying to find the best angle here. I think. Right here would be good. There you go. We got a sign here. Ah, uh, these are gonna look so cool. Can already tell. There comes a point when you start taking photos and you're just like, yep, this photo's gonna freaking rock. All of these photos. Oh man. I used to watch shows where uh, people would fall in love with like, <laughs> they would fall in love with like uh, roller coasters and stuff, like <laughs> objects, you know? And I never understood it. And then when I come photograph stuff like this, I'm like in love with the buildings basically. So cool, man, so much detail. Like this could have been cool, but it's not that cool, but this is cool. 
The wood just holding up the AC. Let's see what we can get or, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get inside. I don't even know if I'd want to go inside, dude. This whole thing is probably just haunted, yo. We got a Route 66 in the window. Now we get a close up. Yeah. Just really cool buildings. You can only imagine what went on in these buildings. You can kind of see in there, they look like they were apartments or something or hotel rooms because you can see cabinets inside in the windows. I feel like if you stare too long into those windows, you're just gonna see a ghost. What's with me and ghosts? And here we've got like an old saloon piano could be a really cool opportunity to get some detailed shots of this piano. So, let's get some up close. All right. Then we're gonna get in here. Let's take a wide photo of the piano. some really close detail here yeah look how cool look at this look at that like what am I holding in my hand right now yo how many years right I'm not supposed to touch it no way I am just blown away right now. It's just more so like how cool this is, like the fact that this was probably around for a lot longer than me. We're hearing history, guys. SD Piano Company, New York. Shut up, look at this. So patents going all the way back to April 1873, 1885, 1909. Wow. <laughs> Why is this just out here? If you want to see more of the Canon G7X Mark II, click this video right here or watch this video right here. Please subscribe. It helps the channel. See you guys later.